Okay, everybody, I'm doing a video from start to finish on getting the software done, all right? First thing you want to do is make sure you are logged into your back office of your global launch takeover, global takeover launch website, all right? I am logged into mine right here. As you can see, I'm logged into my back office. All right, that's the first thing, all right? Log into your back office. Second thing you want to do is we're going to give you this link right here, all right? You're going to take this link right here, this link, all right? Everybody sees that, and you're gonna open up that link, and I'll put the link here in the chat box. All right. Once you got that link, copy and paste it over onto a web browser, and it's gonna bring you here. Now, remember, you must have your website back office open for this to work. All right. Just log into your back office and leave it, and open up another browser and install this. Put this link in the one I just gave you in the chat box. Once you get that, you're gonna come here. First thing you want to is this is simple, y'all. Step one, create a VPS account using your exist or use your existing VPS. Now, the company recommends that you use forexhost.net and they recommend for your broker that you use FX Choice. All right. Now, I spoke with them and they said that they have recommended these two for a specific reason. They did not tell me what the specific reason is, but they said they recommend that for a specific reason. Now, understand this. You can use whatever broker and VPS you want. If you have a Hugo's Way, Trade Way, whatever, um, you can use whatever you want. If you have Forex VPS, you can use whatever you want. However, the company recommends these two for specific reasons. So if you're not using what they recommend, if anything were to go wrong, just saying if, I doubt if anything will, but if anything goes wrong, you can't say the software is malfunctioning because you're not using the recommended, all right? So now that we got that out the way, open up your, you're gonna click here, Forex Host, if you don't have one and click it now i'll let you know right now they are backlogged though they have so many people signed up for this forex host right now they are backlogged and it's taking them a while to get you your credentials but you click on this link you're going to open up your um forex host website it's going to look like this you want to click on get started right here get started let me click that if i had two in there back in it you're going to click on get started and it's going to bring you right here. You're going to check out. It's $27.99, okay? But you're getting a discount for $24.99 for the first month with this promotion code. So go ahead and check out. Now, I'm not going to check out because I've already got it. But once you check out, it's going to give you a username and password. And they're also going to get you a remote desktop session. That's, a, that's an IP address that allows you to log in to the virtual computer, right? The VPS, which is a virtual computer. All right. It's a computer that's running 24 seven that keeps you connected to the to the network. All right. But as I said, they are backlog right now. So it might not normally it takes around 15 to 20 minutes to create a VPS, but it might take them a day or so right now because they got. Remember, we got 70 some thousand people. A lot of people are standing up for this right now. So it's taking them a little bit longer to get it. So just look in your email, you know, log into the, into the back office here, and they will eventually get you an IP address, assign you a, a, a remote login, all right? So once you got that, come back over here to this form. Now you want to download the software to your VPS, the trade ringer. You want to click right here, it says download zip file. What that's going to do, clicking it, it's going to actually open up a download and see trade ringer. I'm going to hit save. Now, I'm not going to save it here because I've already downloaded it. I'll show it to you. But you're going to hit save and download it to your computer desktop. Okay? Download it to your desktop. Now, if you already have your VPS up and running, you can download it to your VPS desktop. Okay? But if you don't, just download it to your regular desktop, and it will look like this. You minimize this. It's going to be these two files. One is going to be a DLL file, a dynamic library link file. One is going to be an executive file executable, I'm sorry, executable file. So these two files right here on your desktop, all right? So let's open back up. I start. Now that I got those files, just leave them there on your desktop. Now I want to go create my demo broker account. If you don't already have a demo broker, remember I told you the company recommends FX Choice for a specific reason. If you're out of the country, if you live out of the country, you're not a United States citizen, you want to use one of these two right here, either Pepperstone or IC Markets, okay? But if you live in the United States for U.S. customers only, open FX Choice, all right? That's going to bring you right here to FX Choice, okay? Look, open demo account. Click that. You're going to open, you're going to fill all this information right here out. 
Simple, full name, email, password. I confirm that you have read the GDPR declaration, okay? All right, hit next. It's gonna go to a telephone confirmation, which the, the, the um, it's gonna ask you to put a phone number in, all right? And when you put that phone number in, it's gonna send a text confirmation to that phone that makes sure it's you. You're gonna enter in the confirmation, then it's gonna give you your registration complete. What that's gonna do is gonna give you your demo account, okay? Your pro demo account um, username, I mean account number and password, all right? So you wanna get those, highlight those, put them on a word pad or something or keep the, keep the registration complete email open, all right? Okay, let me uh, close that one. I don't need that one, let me go ahead and close this one. You're gonna keep that, all right? Now once you got that, you're gonna come back over here to this page again and you're gonna activate that license. The license is that number I just told you, FX Choice, when you says registration complete, it's gonna give you an account number. That's the number it's talking about. It's gonna say account number and password. The account number is what you wanna highlight, copy and paste, bring it over here, activate your license, enter the demo trading account ID from your broker right here. Click on that, it's gonna take you right here. This is my demo account number. You're gonna copy and paste yours in. You're gonna paste yours in here and you're gonna click update license information. Once you click that, it's going to say trial license has been successfully updated and you now have one trial license, all right? Next, you wanna click on this blue box right here. Start here using the 30 day trial. What that's gonna do is take you back to this form. Now you've done steps one, two, three, and four. Now you're ready to download your MT4 from the broker. So once again, if United States, you got FX Choice, you wanna go back to FX Choice, okay? Back to FX Choice, and you want to download your broker, the trading platform, your MT4 right here, all right? MT4, or from this page, you just simply click right here, MT4 Trade, right, Trader. It's gonna take you right here for Windows, Android, Mac, and iOS. But you should be setting this up on your computer for right now, okay? So you wanna download the client terminal exe executable file. All right, you're gonna click that. It's gonna come over and say, your download is starting. It's preparing the download right now. Your download is starting, okay? Now it's here. It's gonna download again to the desktop of your computer. Now, once again, if you have your VPS installed, you can download it to your VPS desktop if you have it running. If you don't, just go ahead and download it to your desktop right now. It's easy to just download to your desktop. I'm not gonna download to my desktop because I already got it there again, all right? So I'm gonna stop and hit cancel. Gonna come over here. I have it on my VPS right now. Um, well, let me sign into my VPS and I'll show you really quick. I'm gonna sign in to my VPS and show you, this is my VPS log. This is the IP address that I was telling you about that you're gonna get from, F, um, from forexhost.net. That's your client login right there. Okay, so I'm gonna click that. It's gonna start logging me into the remote computer, see? Now, you're gonna get right here and it's gonna ask you for a username and password, but I've already got mine there, y'all. I already have mine there. So now I'm logged into my desktop. So I'm gonna minimize my MT4 because I'm gonna show you I've already got mine installed. I'm gonna minimize that. This is your login. This is your, your VPS desktop. See, I've already got my FX choice. So once you, once you, um, once you, once you have downloaded your MT4, the, the, I'm talking about the Forex uh, software to your desktop, over here, I'm gonna go back to my desktop and show you what I mean. Just minimize this. My, it'll be right here. You don't, you'll copy, right click and copy it. Then you'll come back to your, your, your VPS and your paste. And that's this right here, you paste it. Then you wanna install it. So you wanna double click it and install it. Now I'm not gonna do that because I've already got it installed. So once I install it, it's gonna be right here, FX Choice, right? Then you can take this and you can put it in your trash bin if you want, all right? But now you got FX Choice on your computer, okay? So now we're gonna minimize this again, come back to our form over here. You, you're right here, you just installed it, right? Now you wanna set up the trade ringers, all right? So now you wanna click on View Setup Guide. Now. View setup guide, okay? This is, this is simple. Steps one, two, three, all the way down. This is very simple. It looks like it's a lot, but it's very simple. You follow it step by step, y'all, all right? Locate the trade ringer zip file in the downloads folder, okay? That's what I said when I came over here to my, my desktop. These two files, remember these two files I told you about, the DLL file and the ex executable file. 
So you want to locate. So what you're going to do first is you're going to right click on the executable file. Okay. Right click, copy, copy. You're going to go back to your VPS. All right. You're going to go back to your VPS. Well, first, before you do that, I want you to read it. It's so much easier if you have another computer where you have the instructions on one computer or your phone and then you can do it on another. You know what I mean? So right now I can have the instructions on my cell phone. But it says extract the contents, which I did already. It's on my desktop. The exe file goes into the experts library. And this is how you do it. See, it tells you what to do. Then it tells you how. You want to go to the experts directory in the MT4 and paste it by going to file, open data folder, MQL4, and experts. Now, that means I'm going to go back to file, go back on here. To my MT, my, my thing, I'm going to open up my MT4 platform, right? I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to go to File, Open Data Folder, MQL4, Experts Folder. Now, in your folder, you're going to have about four or five things. Just right-click on them like this, or left-click on them, highlight them, and delete everything that's in the folder first. Then you're going to right-click and click Paste. All right, paste, okay? And once you click paste, once you click paste, that trade ringer is gonna show up right here. Trade ringer is gonna show up, okay? Then you just close out that box. Then we wanna come back over. I'm gonna come back and minimize this again to read this next thing. Do the same thing with the other file. Now you're gonna take the DLL file and you're gonna copy that into the libraries folder. So let me go get the DLL file. Right click on the DLL file here, hit copy. Then I'm gonna go back to my VPS. I'm gonna go to back to file. The instruction says file, open data folder, MQL4, libraries folder. Then you want to delete everything in there and right click and hit paste. And then the DLL file will be in here. Then you want to close that out. Okay. All right. I'm going to minimize this again because I, I need my instructions, right? I'm showing y'all on the computer, but actually I have the instructions on my cell phone. If you had the instructions on your cell phone, you wouldn't have to keep doing this. But I'm showing y'all how to do it without it. Next, you want to go to, it says, Refresh Advisors in the navigation bar. All right? Refresh Advisors. So what do you do? Come back over to your day. You're going to go down to the navigator bar. See Expert Advisors. You're going to right-click on Expert Advisors. You're going to click refresh. All right. Once you click refresh, this trade ringer will show up. See, first it's going to look like this. But then when you click refresh, that's going to show up. Because remember, you put that file in that folder up here. Right. All right. So we got that far so far. Let me minimize. Now, you want to add the Forex factory to the expert folders. All you do is come right here. You're going to highlight this forexfactory.com. Highlight that. Just like that. Highlight it. Right click. Copy it. All right. Now you're going to put that into the, into, it says open this window. Go to tools, options, expert advisors. Okay. So how you do that? Let me go back over here. Up to my tools window. Tools, options, expert advisors. And your, it's going to be blank. It's not going to be this. I've already got mine there. It's going to be, but what you're going to do is you're going to double click, add new URL. Then you're going to take it and you're going to right click and paste that forexfactory.com into there. Now I've already got it in there one time, so I'm not going to, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out and just hit cancel. But you see what I'm saying? You got it in, you hit enter and it's in there. Then you hit okay. Okay. So that's there now. Next, let me go ahead and go back to the instructions. It's there. See, it's going to look like that now, like mine did. Okay, then you want to scroll down and open up the following currency charts. You got six pairs of currencies Euro USD, Australian dollar USD, Euro Australian, Australian Japanese, Euro Japanese, US dollar Japanese. Okay, these six pairs one to each three is a pair. So EUR is European, US dollar, AUD is Australian dollar, US dollar, and so forth. You got six pairs one, two, three, four, five, six. You want to take it over. Go back to here, and you want to open them up. See, I got them open already on mine, but how you open them up is you go over here to the charts, all right, the symbols. And it says, the, it told me to open up the EUR USD. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to find EUR 
USD. Let me find it. EUR USD right here. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to hit. Well, actually, let me just go ahead and take these out. I'm going to take them out and, and show you how to install them. Okay, I got them out, y'all. First one is EUR USD, right? So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to hit chart window. Notice how it puts it up here. The next one was AUD USD. Right click it. Chart window. But now you see it landed on top of that one, right? It landed on top of it, but that's okay. Leave it right there. The next one was USD JPY. Now I'm not doing them in any particular order because I don't remember the order, but I, I know the six pairs. All right. Right click, chart window. It went on top. Euro JPY. Right click, chart window. It's over here. Euro AUD, right click, chart window, it's there. AUD JPY, right click, chart window, it's there. Now I want to put them in order like I had, right? When I say order, I mean just so I can see them all. So I'm going to come up here to this block right here where it says arrange windows as non overlapping tiles, and I'm going to click that. Look how it aligns everything, right? So everything is aligned, y'all. Everything is, I got all six pairs. Now that I got my six pairs, I can go ahead and hide the rest of them. So I'm gonna right click down here, click hide all. And the only thing that's gonna be there is the six pairs that I have. That's the only ones I care about, these six pairs. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pairs. Now I'm gonna go back to my instructions, y'all. Minimize that. I got my pairs in there. So what I want to do next is I want to drag the trade ringer from the navigator box to the currency charts to activate. What that means is I want to actually activate the software on each one of those pairs of currency. Okay, so let me go back. I'm going to come down here to trade ringer and I'm going to take it and I'm going to left click it and I'm going to slide it. See how I'm sliding it? I'm going to slide it over here and I'm going to let it go. Now mine says, do you really want to stop the trade ringer? I'm going to say no because, see, I've already got it installed. I've already got the software installed. You won't have the software installed, so yours is going to say something like this. It's going to come up like this. All right? It's going to come up with something like that. So let's go back to my instructions because I want you to, you got to get this. This is what you're going to come up with, common. See how it got a checkbox and enable alerts, allow live trading, and the three checkboxes here. I want to make sure mine has those five checkboxes. So let me go back. I got those five checkboxes. So that's okay. All right, let me go back to my instructions. See, see how I keep having to minimize and go back to my instructions? If you had your instructions on a cell phone, you wouldn't have to keep doing this, what I'm doing here. All right, next, what I want to do is I want to set all these inputs in red. Email, password, lot mode, manage. So what that means is, this is when it's a whole bunch easier to set if you got the instructions on the cell phone because you got to go back and do all these. So what I'm going to do, y'all, for the sake of time, is I'm going to show y'all all this stuff in red I've already set. Enter trade on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Those, those two are false. Those three are false because we're not trading on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, some experienced traders, if they want to trade on Thursday and Friday, they can set theirs to true which means the software will run on Thursday and Friday. But the company tells you to not do it. So if all the new people who don't know how to trade, please do what's recommended. If you don't do what's recommended, you cannot complain if you lose money. See, the company's telling you what's recommended, but you can do whatever you want to do. All right, so for sake of time and having to switch back and forth, all these in red, I'm going to show you over here on mine. Okay, here, I'm going to go to inputs, that's where it is. My email, my password. All you do is double click it and enter it in. Double click it, enter it in. Double click, enter it in. Double click, enter it in. But see, all mine are set like it says, except for the DMRT. This is one I have to change. This one, DMRT, it was originally 1.7. You double click and change it to 1.5, okay? Then everything down here is set. Remember, I got my falses. Well, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You just double click it and you can change it to true or false if you want. But I leave it to false. Then you come over here and hit OK. All right. Now, once I've done that, what I want to do next on this one is I want to come and right click and I want to go time frames. 
And I want to put it on four hours. All right, four hours. Understand it, put it on four hours. Once I do that, I'm going to right click again and I'm going to create a template. All right, and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say, save this as a template. Right? So next time when I close this out, when I open it up, all those settings, my email address, password, everything will already be there by default. So I'm going to click on, if you don't have one that says come up default, make it one. Say default. Okay? I'm going to say no because I've already got it here. Default. Then I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out because I've already got it. But you want to click it and name it default template. And you click save. Now, when I go to each one of these pairs, when I click on it, when you take this trade ringer and slide it over here, like that, it's going to come up like this. But all your information is going to be there. Everything that you did on the first one, so you don't have to go back and enter all this information in. It's already there. Okay? So you're going to slide that trade ringer over. It's already going to be here. Everything is going to be there. Okay? Now, once that's done, y'all, you are done. You're done. See, I got my $5,000 ready to trade. Then you're going to come up here. Once, when they say Sunday, when they say you can now start trading, when they turn the software on, you're going to come up here and click auto trading to on. When you click that, it's going to go green, y'all, like that. Now, I don't want any trades to come through. If, if the software was on right now, it would immediately start picking up trades. I mean immediately. As soon as I hit that button, it's going to start trading. All right? But the software is off right now, so it's not trading, y'all. Okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it back off. All right? But that is it, everyone. You are now running our Expert Advisor software, Trade Ringer version 1 software, on your trades. Okay? So if you have any questions... Please get, get up with me. Now I'm going to go ahead and end this. Close this out. Now, oh, one last thing I didn't say. When you open up your VPS, like to see how I keep minimizing it or closing it, you can do one or the other, minimize or exit, but never click the red. Once you click the red, you are actually disconnecting your software from the VPS. So now the software won't be managed. You, because by leaving that open and just minimizing this or closing this, Come on, closing that. My software, my, my VPS is actually still running and managing my software. I closed it out, but it's actually still managing it, okay? So that's, that's what you want to do. That's how you make that work, all right? So that's the end of this video. I hope everything, I hope you've gotten enough information on how to get your stuff going. If not, just email me, or you can actually send me a text. Um, my number is 980 285 7961